Terrible. There was a whole big bust went down. Well, not a bust, a whole incident went down in Volcom. And then there's another one in Lichtenberg. Yeah, that, and these guys, yeah, the crime and traffic updates. All of these people that like snitch on your neighbor people are pulling weed all the time. And this is just, they're doing patrols to keep people off the street. And then they fucking pull people's weed when they find it. It's just mull. And look at the art, look at these army dudes now. What do they know about anything? They're put in this position. They're not, they're not, they're, not, they're totally in the wrong job for anything. Do you know anybody that's had any trouble with the army or the police, Tarbo? Is it, have you got any hectic stories? No, nothing much this side. Uh, it's just that I'd say uh, with the cops, what they do in like, uh, they try to maybe uh, persuade people to snitch on other dealers, stuff like that. Because there was a guy like two blocks away from me who got snitched and they took away all his weed. But he's out now. So it, was ju it just goes to show that it's just shit cops. They just went there, stole the weed and practically stole it and just left. Yeah. Well, that's and that, exactly what they did because it shouldn't even be a matter of he's out now. He should right. never have gone in in the first place. Exactly. Fuck the police. He even went to the to the jail cell. I think he even tried to pay them more because that's what they do. They want cash and they take your weed. Right, and it's right and if you give them a lot of. Weed. Well, if he took a note of the names and their ranks should be on the paperwork. He can sue them for unlawful arrest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But Joe, where's for that sure. money coming that uh, coming from that's paying for that then? Taxpayer money. I know, we need to figure out a way. Um, Tabo, is there a bit of an issue going on? How do people get busted? Is it just the neighbours? Are the neighbours... I've seen a couple of incidents on Twitter, not so much with weed, but with neighbours... Um, snitching on people walking their dog or snitching on the fact that the kids are playing out in the street. It's like everybody's turned into this asshole COVID vigilante. How's it going in your hood with that? <laughs> nah, this side, nah, on my side, everything is cool. Eh? You get some kids like maybe running to the shops, going to buy a few things, coming back. It's just, they play like outside, uh, inside the yard, just on the front. So you get, they get to feel as if they are on the street. It's interesting that you say that there's a whole bunch of swa you, 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 there's a whole bunch of Swazi going around. Does that mean there's still trucks coming and backies coming from Swaziland into Soweto, regardless of any lockdown? Is it, uh, is it happening all the time? Is there still this huge trade going on? It's incredible. Yeah, that means, that means there's there is a way that uh, trucks are actually coming in. There is definitely a way because with cops, you all know that, especially with South African cops, as long as you have money, you get away with it. Right. So they right. probably just set up stuff, talk to the people, meet them off, and then everything everything goes well. Big time. Well, I think... Um, and they're we... allowed to triple their income on that because yeah. of the alcohol and, and tobacco black market that's going to start thriving now. Oh, yeah. Cops are literally about to triple their fucking bribe income. Yeah. How bad is that? Well, our, our local cops are still at the local four-way stop, four-way stop, still trying to catch up on their cool drink money because the cops must be hurting a bit now. The roads are empty. There's nobody running red robots. There's nobody not stopping at stop streets. What are they going to do with themselves? <laughs> yeah, it's hard for them now. It's pretty hard for them because now no one is paying them off. Most people are cooperating. It's just like people who are on the streets are people who don't have money and are actually looking to make money so that they can have food. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I see Jordan Curls just joined us from Swaziland. Jordan, hello, bro. I think we should have you on next week for a Swaziland update. We've also, um, it also looks like we've got Danny Danko on next week. Can you believe that? Danny's going to come through from New York and he's just left his job or he's just been asked to leave by High Times. He's now not senior grower for High Times magazine anymore. They can't canned a ton of people. 
they've let loads of people go. So now um, um, I'm hoping the timing's going to be right. But imagine being locked down in in um, in New York at the moment. There's fucking hundreds of deaths a day going on there. Have you seen the whole thing going on on Twitter? Have you seen the whole bunch of nutcases on Twitter going around taking photographs of everyone's hospitals? Because uh. they're trying to prove that the hospitals are empty. But it's the car parks are empty and not the hospitals because nobody's allowed to drive anywhere. So they're actually trying to, trying to disprove the whole virus by proving that there's no one in the hospitals because the car parks are empty. Have you ever heard something so stupid in your life? Thank you. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of yeah, new this is like just absolute. I don't even know what the term is, but like for for conspiracy theorists, this has been the best time ever so far. And if you got coronavirus, right. you're not just gonna go to this the local hospital. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, we have absolutely no idea where we should go or what we should do if we feel like we're feeling like shit. We have no idea where the nearest place is that could help. I've got a phone number in Krugersdorp somewhere. But apart from that, nobody really knows. Nobody knows at all. So, um, yeah. um, what do you reckon the president's going to say, Tabo? What do you reckon he's going to do? Do you think there'll be a riot if he says you've got to stay in your house for another three weeks? Yes, because now, for me... Like with the soldiers outside and police everywhere, because it doesn't make sense for them to say people should be locked out, uh, locked in, but uh, there are thousands and thousands of soldiers outside which are exposed to the virus themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just thinking that they were actually hoping that the people will riot and then they'll start that thing of theirs of killing people because that's what they used to do it. So if Ramaphosa has to uh, extend the lockdown, then I think it's going to bring a lot of trouble. I think you're absolutely right. Um, tobacco. Yeah, because hungry people, Jules, as you've said before, hungry people can become very angry people. Yeah, no, big time, all the time. Exactly. It's... Shit, Little man. Little desperation there. Um, uh, Do you think he should... The lockdown because uh, it's going to bring big trouble because already a lot of businesses have, I have lost businesses, especially with the black market businesses. A lot of them have lost a lot of money and they can't afford to lose more. Yeah, well, like, look, small, even just small businesses like Buzz. Buzz just, well, he's got one of the most successful head shops in the country online. He's sitting there twiddling his thumbs because. Exactly. You, you can't, there's no infrastructure for him to take anyone's money and then do a courier and the courier guy stays alive and, the, and Am, Am, you know, all, all the different companies stay alive just with a simple thing like that. I hope he does something. Um, somebody says here, Zolbard says there's going to be, he figures there'll be an extended soft lockdown. Um, Lee Swanepoel saying his salary's already been cut, but he's still got one. I mean, how many people out there don't have one? Yeah. We're still paying all of our staff from Fields of Green as much as we can, but we don't know how long we can do that for because we're still waiting for all our deposits to come back from, from D-Days, and it's this whole chain reaction of shit that everybody's completely involved in. Good wants to know why the SAPS has to keep searching everybody. And he's right. What the fuck are the cops doing now? I saw a report on Twitter today that um, in the Constantia Pick and Pay in Cape Town, there are plainclothes police going in three times a day to, to try and catch the staff out selling them something that's not an essential item. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Is that, haven't they got anything else to do? Clearly not. <sighs> Christ. That's disgusting, actually. Um, Jordan is saying, yeah. Jordan is saying via, via Swaziland that retail stores and delivery service sales are up in America and Canada. So people are sitting there. I mean, that's the other thing that Myrtle and I were chatting about last night. What about the shopaholic in your life? You know, those guys that cannot fucking stop shopping. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, know, we know one person like that uh, and... Um, 
we don't know how she'd be doing at this point because if anything goes down and shit hits the fan, you just go out and buy something, whatever it is. <laughs>